Well, I just finished packing. Where am I headed, you might ask? I am headed to the world premiere of Amazon's Wheel of Time adaptation. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be explaining what's going to go down on my trip to the UK, how I'm going to be covering the events, and I'll have some major announcements at the end of the video. Now, join me as I break down all of this on this week's weekly Wheel of Time news. Now, before we get to the announcements and the news, let me hit the spoiler warning for the video. Today's video will carry a spoiler rating of green. With no major spoilers of any kind, feel free to watch this video regardless of whether you have read the books or not. Now, I think the first thing to hit on here before getting into anything too deep is all of the amazing marketing work that Amazon is doing right now. It's almost as if the Wheel of Time is everywhere. I've seen ads in almost every digital platform. I've seen them in movie theaters. I've seen them on the TV at a restaurant. I've seen them on billboards. I've had people I work with say they've seen previews and they're super excited to watch the show. This is the big advertising push that we all knew would come, but it's certainly a ton to keep up with in the meantime. Now, one of the best things that they have done and that is really completely unique to the Wheel of Time here is the level of interaction that they've had with the fan community. This is frankly unprecedented as far as I have seen. Just two weeks back, Amazon announced that they would be hosting premiere events all over the world, starting by releasing dates in the United States and then later some showings in Europe. Now, these events are hosted by Wheel of Time fans and content creators. And within hours of announcing these events online, almost all of them were completely sold out, which is a testament to the level of interest from current fans. Now, many of my colleagues on YouTube and other podcasters and other content creators that make content around the Wheel of Time have been invited to be involved, to host and cover these events, which is an amazing thing that Amazon has put together. I think that's awesome for everybody involved. Now, what they are counting on here is for current fans to evangelize the show to everybody that they know, really, as if we wouldn't do that already. But showing it to everybody a couple days early, and if indeed it is as good as Amazon thinks that it will be, we're going to be screaming from the rafters to everybody that we know, or even that we don't know, that they should watch this show. And make no mistake, Amazon appears very confident in the direction of this show. It's been confirmed that Amazon has already greenlit season two. Actually, they're currently filming it right now. There's a rumor, one that I haven't really seen substantiated to my standards at least, but that season three has already been picked up, which would be awesome. And even if that's not true, the other day, Amazon announced that they are releasing animated companion videos that release with the show and that are explained the background, like the Age of Legends and some of the history of the lore. And all of that is narrated by Alexandra Willems' Tom Marilyn, which I think is awesome. Those are not things that you do if you think your show is a failure. And I can speak to that too, because internally, from the people that I have talked to, they are very confident in their show, even privately when they're talking about it. That is extremely exciting as a fan and somebody who's been wanting to see this series on TV or on the movie for like 20 years. I have been a fan of this series longer than I have not been a fan of this series, which means that I have a lot invested in this. Now, the fan premieres are not the only premieres that are happening. As I mentioned earlier, Amazon is also hosting the world premiere for the show this coming week in the UK, and I got an invite. Amazon invited me and a number of other creators and influencers out to the world premiere. So I want to take a minute here and explain what I'll be doing there, what type of coverage you should expect from me while I'm there, and a bit about my coverage of the show when it releases. Let's start by what I'll be doing there. I'm not actually allowed to disclose too much of what we'll be doing while we're in the UK, but you will see soon enough. I can say this, I'm going to be on the red carpet at the premiere and I will be talking to the cast and crew and getting to ask them a few questions. Make sure to let me know what questions you would ask the cast in the comments of this video. I actually want you guys to give me some ideas. I can't promise I will get to your question, but I will certainly get to as many as I can and as I feel are appropriate. So if you can leave me a question that you want me to ask a specific crew person or cast person, name who that is, name the question, and I will get them. I really do want your ideas, so make sure to leave something in the comments of the video. And what type of coverage should you expect from me? Well, I will be tweeting throughout the event. You can follow my Twitter account, at BlissNay, uh, to get pictures, live videos that I record, or any stream of consciousness thoughts I have while I'm in the UK. I will also be recording the entire trip as a blog-style video. I'll be showing the highlights of my trip, all the events that I get to be a part of, my interviews with the cast, and just my general thoughts on the whole event. 
I'll be editing this down into a video format for you guys, and I will be releasing that next week before the release of the show. Additionally, since I'm going to be seeing the first two episodes of the show, I'll be releasing my spoiler-free review of the first two episodes. This will be completely spoiler-free, so you can feel free to watch it and not be, have anything spoiled for you, but I will have that out as soon as possible next week for everybody as well. Then I'll post a recap video where I give my analysis of some of the interviews and my time in the UK and my experience with Amazon. That will all come out sometime in the following week after the trip. In terms of how I'm gonna cover the show, my plan right now is to do an episode recap and review video that will come out on Friday. I then plan for a longer episode that's like an Easter egg breakdown video that will come out on Sundays. That's gonna break down all the fun stuff from the episodes. It's gonna use the patented Nabless eggplant meter to track the success of that show. And lastly, I will do a predictions video for the following episode that will come out sometime during the week. Of course, I'll still have my Monday live show with a special guest each week where we'll talk about the episode. So those are my plans for the premiere event and for the release of the show. I am super excited for all of this. And right after recording this video, I'm headed to the airport so the fun begins. I can't wait to share it all with you. The last thing I wanted to mention to you all is that I am super happy to announce that ticketing has just opened for WatCon. We expect these to go very quickly, so hop on and get your membership as soon as you can. We have two main levels of membership or ticket level. Our standard ticket includes lunch on Saturday and Sunday, as well as a banquet dinner on Saturday night and admission to all the events so you'll get in, you'll be able to see everything. We also have a VIP ticket, which includes all of that stuff, but comes with another VIP dinner with all of the creators running the event, all of the fans running the event, and our special guests, which we'll talk about in a second. It also gives you access to the con suite where you can get all you can eat snacks and drinks. You'll get a t-shirt, you'll get a swag bag. We also have lifetime versions of both of these tickets available if you wanna get a lifetime ticket, but those special guests, who are they? Well, none other than Daniel Green, who is a published author, badass YouTuber, professional badass in general, and somebody I consider to be a good friend. Also, we have Kate Redding and Michael Kramer who will be there in person. They are excited to be a part of the event and they are planning some really cool interaction with fans, like recordings and stuff. If you're not sure who they are, they are the two voice actors who recorded the Wheel of Time audiobooks, which are amazing. They're legends in the fan community. They're really good at what they do. And we have some funny stuff planned with them. So how do you register? Head to www.watcon.com where you can join. There's gonna be a ton more added to the website as we move forward towards the con, but we are excited to be able to open ticketing now. Again, we expect to sell out, so get on it as soon as you can. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to get updates on all of this. You're gonna to wanna to be paying attention. Thank you to all of my patrons for your support. And thank you all for watching. I can't wait for what's coming. Until next time, peace out.